it is time, it is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, BrewTubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. Hi, so this video I'm going to be doing a beer review for the SJ Pour Challenge in the European Division. So this beer is going to be for BR026FR. So what this is is actually a very interesting beer but unfortunately the sh there were some problems with the shipping of this one so only a handful of them actually survived most of the EU participants were able to receive this one except for one um, the brewer was also not able to get back his own beer so uh, there should probably only be about seven reviews of this one anyway you can see the level in the bottle is uh, quite a bit lower than probably what it was obviously the label has been completely destroyed but the contents of this beer look absolutely perfectly clear it's been in my fridge for about two and a half weeks and I took it out of the fridge probably about 15 minutes ago just been letting it set at about 20 degrees room temperature so I'm gonna go ahead crack this open and give it a whirl but before I do I'll go ahead and I'll show you the label. Alright, so here's the label. You can kind of see the specs on it. It's a 5.5% 40 IBU beer. But what's very interesting about this one is that it's a blend. So it's a blend of a 6% pale ale, um, which was used 90% Pilsner malt, 10% wheat malt. And in that beer, they used Amarillo and Nelson Savon. Then in the second one, it was a five, no, a 4.7%. Um, he called it a mosaic session ale. And that used 85% Maris Otter, 8% Crystal, and 7% Wheat. So I'm really looking forward to crack this open and give it a taste. Here we go, let's we'll get to the open. Still got a bit of a hiss. So. Um, uh, and I can see some carbonation rising up around there, so that's so that's definitely you know encouraging. Let's go ahead and give it a pour. It's looking crystal clear. I'll just go ahead and leave it right there. Wow, that's a beautiful looking beer. Um, amazing. After that shipping problem, if I swirl it up a little bit, a bit of head comes right back. That's quite nice. So this is supposed to be like a pale ale, but uh, it's got a nice golden yellow color to it. So it's definitely really, really nice. Let's go ahead and get the aroma. I get that Nelson Savon. I get that sort of white, grape, winey sort of aroma. It smells like some uh, light fruit, so like a passion fruit, like peaches. Uh, some other stuff in there is very interesting. Uh, let me go ahead and dive into this and uh, tell you what I think. Cheers. BR. 026 FR. Thank you very much for letting us try this out. Cheers. Mm. That is very nice. Interesting blend. Interesting aftertaste. I get all fresh, white, light fruit on the front of my palate. 
It's got an, um, a light to medium mouthfeel and as it wishes towards the back, right on top, carbonation is still in there surprisingly. So that's very good. Um, it's light carbonation, but as it goes back, let me go ahead and get a second sip. Light fruit again, peach, apricot, um, passion fruit, settles in the back. The aftertaste, maybe a bit of mosaic, sort of berryish, very, very light berry. But uh, that's what I think about this beer. I'll go ahead and rate it and put down some comments. Thanks a lot. Cheers, BR026. FR, I really appreciate it. It's a very nice beer. Cheers.